the distance between the cones will probably vary depending on where you're doing your exam. Mine here are set at a distance of 6 meters or 20 feet and I'm using a vehicle that's 4.2 meters long, that's 14 feet. The cones used at the exam should usually be high enough so that you can see them from inside the vehicle, but I couldn't find that type of cones, so I put a couple of poles in these ones so that I can see them. But actually, if you want to practice this before your exam, you don't actually need to put one in the cone behind here, and you don't even need real cones. I'll talk about that in the next video. I advance while flashing to the right until I see the front left cone more or less in this position in my back window. If the cone is wider, you should see it more or less like this. This is the same as aligning your back bumper with the cone, but this is a better reference point because obviously you can't see your back bumper. Now this reference point will vary a bit depending on the size of your vehicle. If you have a longer than average vehicle, you'd align the cone a bit more towards the back of your window and for the shorter vehicle, a bit more towards the front. Now I put in reverse, I turn my steering wheel all the way to the right, I do my verifications to my left, and when I can, I reverse until I see the rightmost cone behind in the right edge of my mirror. This is the cone I'm talking about, I see it here on the right edge. Now I turn my steering wheel all the way to the left, and I reverse as much as I can, stopping before I'm too close to the cones behind. Basically, I reverse until the front of my car is aligned with the left cone in front. I forgot to film this from the inside, but at this point, you should be seeing the cone in this position on your windshield, more or less aligned with the top of your steering wheel. If it's a wider cone, you should see it more or less like this. Again, this will vary a bit depending on the size of your vehicle, but it should be more or less here. Now I put in first gear, I turn my steering wheel all the way to the right and advance until my car is straight. Then I turn it one and a half turn to the left to straighten my wheels and if needed, I reverse until I'm at an equal distance between the cones in front and the ones behind. If the spot is tighter, you'll just need to alternate between reversing and advancing while turning the wheel all the way to the appropriate side between each. I explain that in more detail in my video on parallel parking in a tight spot, I'll put the link for it in the video description. In the next video, I'll give you some tips on how to practice this kind of parking before your exam. So stay tuned, see you soon.